Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you would like to show your support to our community, you can donate by going through my PayPal. It is paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. This is all a narcissist needs from you. Narcissists want you to feel like you are unimportant and insignificant, as though you're not worth their consideration, when really the opposite is true, because they're actually heavily dependent on you. They need your emotional support in order for them to continue operating and existing. But they want you to believe that they don't need you, to make you feel small, and to keep you at their beck and call, so that they can continue get what they need from you. Because they're the ones who are dependent on you. You don't even need them. Because the truth is that they don't even have the ability to fulfill your emotional needs. They can only leech off your emotions like a parasite, which sustains them while draining you. This is known as their narcissistic supply, and it's why they must have power over you, to where they're always in competition with you, because they're trying to gain a feeling of superiority over you by maintaining an advantage, because that is what renders this supply to them. Which is why whenever you're involved with a narcissist, they will always be seeking power. But this is something they can't get from a normal, real life interaction. So they have to bring you into this fantastical space where the parameters are under their specific conditions so that they can brainwash you and control your thoughts to get you to behave in the way that they need you to. So that they can get their narcissistic supply. Because if it were to happen naturally, and as it should, then they wouldn't be able to do that. Because real life is not wired and set up in the same way that their brains are. And in fact, it's the opposite. They're wired in reverse of how reality is meant to operate. Which is why everything they do is backwards. It's the opposite of normal. It's not usual, typical or expected. Because if it was, then they wouldn't feel like they have power over you. So then they wouldn't get their supply. If a person is trying to gain power and control over you, you shouldn't have any interest or feel any attraction towards them. Because they don't care about who you are and they don't want you to be happy. All they want to do is take what you've got. Which is why the more time you spend with them, you will find that you're just giving more and more of yourself and getting less and less back in return. You will just be giving out all of your time, energy and attention, all of your love, compassion and kindness. And they will be taking your life force energy that is meant to sustain you because they don't have it and they can't generate it from within. So they've got to take yours. And that is the only reason why they interact with you, while making you feel like something is wrong with you, or that you're not good enough. When if that was true, why did they come after you? Why would they ever have wanted you to begin with? And of course, they're never going to tell you but the reason why is because of who you are. It's because of your distinguishing qualities and traits that they can't find anywhere else. Because as far as they know, you're the only one who has it. They come after you because you're an amazing person and they're very interested in you. Otherwise, they wouldn't have wasted their time 
which reveals that they are actually the ones who are dependent on you. They require your favor and support, although they may never actually admit that to you. But just look at their behaviors. They want to get as much as they can out of you in the shortest amount of time by consuming your energy reserves while acting as though they love you and they're in your corner. Which is why you really need to stop giving that to them. But don't blame or doubt yourself. Don't think that you could have done more. Don't think that you could have said or done something different. Because although that may be how they want you to feel, that actually has nothing to do with it. They just want you to feel like you're not good enough to keep you stuck in a thought loop where you're feeling stressed out, anxious and angry, like you're trapped inside a storybook and you're reading the same words over and over again and you feel like you're too small or unimportant to be worth consideration. So now you have to change something about yourself to make you more attractive or interesting to them when they don't even care about that. It doesn't do anything for them. It means nothing to them. All they care about is maintaining their power and control over you so that they can continue leeching off your energy reserves because they can't generate it from within. Which is why they need to have control over you. Because if they have control over you, they have control of your energy. And then they've got this potent source of supply on tap which they have access to at their disposal whenever they need to. And you will know when you're a narcissist source of supply because you're constantly having to stimulate them while you're getting nothing back in return. And yet at the same time, they're molding you into who they want you to be. And they're dependent on you for emotional validation and support. So you're like their parent or caretaker which is something you didn't want to do and it's something you were never aware of but that is what you've become when you're so much better than that you're worth so much more and yet they're stripping you of all of this value that you possess and they're not even grateful you don't even get a thank you because they feel entitled to you they believe that they are inherently deserving of you so they expect you to do it as though they're your God, your master. When that's not even what your life is about. That's not why you're here. But they impose this very specific role onto you because they're reliant on you. For everything that you can provide, they force you into this role. They coerce you while also demanding your love, devotion, admiration and respect and in return you get nothing because they have nothing to give. They're getting that from you and they're not going to give it back because that would defeat the purpose of them taking it in the first place. So of course you're going to be the one who is left with the short end of the stick. You're the one who is going to be left feeling dissatisfied because they need you, but you never needed them. Which is why you're the one who is supplying them with what they need. And it's why they're going to hold on to you for their lives. And they're going to do whatever they can to keep you stuck to them. But it's not going to be any good for you. It's not going to serve you in any way. Because they don't build, protect or preserve, they only destroy. So they're looking for someone who can build. And that is why they have to take it from you. Because they can't build it on their own. And they also can't protect or preserve it. Which is why even if they leave, they're going to keep coming back. And in any interaction, there is always an energ energetic exchange. Sometimes there may be an exchange of positive energy of both sides. But with narcissists, they steal your positive energy and give you negative energy in return while gaslighting you into thinking that you need to keep giving and supplying this to them until they run you into the ground and when that happens they will just blame you and then they will hunt down another source of supply 
because this is the only way that they can survive. So essentially, you become their slave. You're forced to work for and obey them because they consider you their property. You're forced to work your fingers to the bone and you don't even get paid. It's like you're a stay-at-home mother who is responsible for the feelings of their baby and you must constantly strive to keep her baby happy to where she feels compelled to do something about it. The only difference is that you're dealing with a fully grown adult who by this stage in their lives should be able to take care of themselves. But then at least with a baby or child, they can actually reciprocate these emotions and energy back, which is why you may find more enjoyment and fulfillment interacting with a child or a pet, because those are real living things, while the narcissist is like death. Just remember before you met them, remember how much happier you were, remember how much better your life was back then. And as soon as you do that, you will revive yourself. Which is why it feels so good when you sever ties with a narcissist and disconnect the hooks that they placed in you. It's like the entire time they were just weighing you down. And now you can finally fly away. Because when you're interacting with a narcissist, you're just giving and giving and getting nothing back. Which is why what you need to do is give back to yourself. Just spend some time by yourself and watch how your energy and liveliness, spirit and life, joy and happiness magically returns to you as if it was never taken away. And yet it doesn't feel good when you're giving and giving and getting nothing back because that's not what you're supposed to be doing. It's not what you came here to do. It's just that the narcissist manipulated you into doing that because they can't do it for themselves. So they depend on you for their survival. You're like their life support. You're keeping them alive. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.